Can a passenger in a motor vehicle be charged with drug possession where the drugs are found by the police in the car or there's other contraband such as stolen property found in the car? Well, the short answer is yes to this question. This is a very common fact pattern which happens all the time in, in criminal law. You know, our, our firm gets many of these cases per year where there's drugs or stolen property found and there's multiple people in the car. Well, the police have a real dilemma in this situation because they've got the driver who's in possession of that motor vehicle and they're kind of deemed a little bit to break down the law a little bit to be in possession of what's in their car, although they can defend it and say it's not theirs. You've got all these other people in the vehicle as well who could have been in possession of that good. Let's say it's in the glove box, for example. Well, maybe the front passenger put it there without the driver's knowledge. So it becomes a delicate situation. The police effectively in this situation when there's drugs found in the vehicle that are not on a particular person, but they're somewhere in the vehicle, hidden, for example, they have to charge everyone. And then it's a real problem. You've got four or five co-accused charged with the same thing. They might all be denying it. They might all be pointing the figures at each other. And, uh, you know, the court system has to sort it out. Usually the court system sorts it out properly. Oftentimes the, the driver will come forward and do the right thing and said, look, it's mine. No one else knew about it. But what if they don't? Now the Crown's got a problem. You've got four or five different defense counsel fighting over this drug case, complicated trial, charter applications, pointing the fingers. And I've seen cases where no one gets convicted because the judge couldn't sort it out. But this is the dilemma the police face. And it, it happens, it's, I can tell you, it's one of the most common fact patterns in criminal law. Stolen goods in a car, uh, drugs found in a car, the police pulling it over for a Highway Traffic Act violation, and lo and behold, there's a smell of marijuana leading to a search of the vehicle. Now, if the drugs are found on a particular person, of course, they're the only person that's going to be charged. But I'm talking about hidden drugs or maybe drugs that are in the open and everyone had access to it. So there's the, there's the pattern which our firm faces. I mean, we probably receive at least one of these cases a month of, of different property crimes. And, and it's, again, one of the most common patterns in Canadian criminal law. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.